Yeah, dog. Good to see you, brother. Me too. <laughs> Summertime living. Yeah, summertime living. Welcome. <laughs> this is the home away from home. This is probably where I spend 90% of my mornings. Come here and like look outside, see the door open, see like a 10 footer spit his brains out. You'd be like, oh fuck, it's firing again. Go to like the coffee machine over here, start to make it. You hear another one go, you're like, Oh fuck, it's firing, like fucking hurry up. <laughs> like started freaking out and then like every day for like three months that happened. I was tripping like every single day. But yeah, this is the home away from home. Come check it out. Couldn't ask for a better place to wake up looking at pipe and coming out and just being able to see what's going on. This is pretty much my favorite place in the world right here, get to watch my favorite wave in the world and I don't know it's just a good common ground for everybody that's here for the right reason. Pipeline is the mother. One of my mothers. I feel like mothers lead you in the world and my mother at home has led me through my life and Pipeline as a mother has taught me a lot about life and I thank her for that incredibly. My relationship with the mother Pipeline is is one I think that is forever growing and forever changing. She gave me something that I don't know if I'll ever top in the rest of my career and she was able to give me a win at a contest at Pipe. I never expected it in the first place. To fathom another one is just like, all right, well, maybe we do have that kind of relationship. I don't know, I'm not really sure. <laughs> like, even with that, I'm like, Really? Like, what? That really happened? I mean, it's a world title for me. To have this be my opportunity is all I could ask for, and it is my world title. And if I could do that again, I'd, I wouldn't know how to pay her back, but that was all I would want to do. I think I'm forever in debt to her. Um, I think I've always been that way, though. I mean, just getting one wave out here is, means you're in debt forever. Maybe she be, kicks your ass one day and maybe she loves you the next day, but it's always kind of a balance and it always seems to balance out in the end. The inside of Pipeline sounds like a, like a tiger or like a lion or like something growling at you, but like it's a weird place of like peacefulness within the chaos. You combine the best barrel, the best air, it's like, what, what more can you ask for? Nate and F Christian Fletcher have proven that time and time again, where they've done bigger airs than anyone's ever done in the world, let alone at pipe. It had to be at least like 10 years ago, I had a wave out here and it was like, kind of second reefing, and being that it had that chip, you, you like, we were just looking at huge air sections and you can get into it early with the chip. So I rode like a 6.0 or something, and hopes of I would get that air section and and I got it and ended up being like a big back door kind of back door section that I've kind of punctured with the chandelier and like didn't see much came out of it and was able to like launch of air and did like an air reverse and it was fuck it was like the dream wave for me it's like at the time I guess or even still like to, to be able to get a big air section after a big barrel of pipe is the combo of dreams. I first surfed Pipeline when I was 13 years old. There was like this shore break right in front of my mom's house in New York that was kind of like the foundation for getting barreled for me. And I credit a lot of surfing barrels like Pipe to growing up at this little beach break at home. Like this little stretch has been my life every winter since I was 13. All you gotta do is try and eventually it lets you out and then all of a sudden you're in the lineup and then all of a sudden you're on a wave and then next thing you know, maybe a year later, maybe five years later, you're getting blown out of the best barrel of your life. And like, it's just, I don't know, it's more doable than I thought. Going for D. I think Pipeline is one of those things that you will never master. You can never master. Like, Pipeline is the mother, and she's the mother of all of us, and that's, uh, that's something you strive for and never achieve, I believe. There's people that have come close. Uncle D is like, if, if there's anyone, Uncle D is one of the guys that has mastered this place in, in, in every form. Um, 
in relationship, in wave knowledge, in respect, all of it. The person I least want in my heat is, if I'm trying to win, uh, John John, I would say. He's got the most mojo out here than anyone I've seen, I feel like. In terms of best chances of losing, I would be surfing against John. Do you guys have a GoPro at all? No. Usually it doesn't happen like that. You don't get fish on the, when you have the camera. One breath, one dive. It's a wrap. Missed a little bit of the tail, but you get the gist. Not until I started traveling did I realize how much of an anomaly it is to, I guess, be a surfer from New York. Like, the best thing is to see more kids come up and want to do the shit that I did, because that, that immediately just, like, I want that to grow in every form. Should be good. My name is Paul I'm Stack, and this is the breakfast I'm going to eat in the morning of the Vans Pipe Masters.